Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris and today I'm gonna to do a review of a light that I am very, very pumped about. This is a light from a company called Sheds. It's relatively inexpensive, it's a big moving head. You can see them right here, you can hear the fans swirling around. They're not as loud as they sound in here. They're backed up against the wall and there's no music so it's just kinda of bouncing off the wall. They're not as loud. I used them at a gig just last night and I'm impressed. It's a 19 by 15 watt LED, red, green, blue, white, full moving head. We're gonna do a review right now. Guys, I'm so excited about this light. We have 19 15 watt LEDs, red, green, blue, white, color mixing capabilities through DMX. This does have auto program, sound active modes. It also has a really small footprint, all right? So this thing, um, I'd have to measure it, but it's probably about this big. Um, I, I have the Nova Pro stands and it fits on there. It's tiny on that stand, which is pretty cool. They weigh less than 20 pounds, comes in just over 17, I believe. Um, we have a 540 degree, 540 by 185, I believe. So it points down a little bit. It doesn't point down much, but um, I have a little bit of video from last night. I can show you it tilts down a little bit. If you are 15, 18 feet away from the dance floor, I think you'll be doing pretty good. But this thing is super bright. I have this thing dimmed down to like two or three on my DMX controller right now. It is so ridiculously bright. Now, one of the most important things I got this particular light for, and I kind of was looking for something, and then um, I came across this company from Sheds and they actually reached out to me as well to possibly do a video for them. Um, so they gave me a little bit of a discount and I picked up a couple of them because it's something that I think is really gonna fit a need that I have, which is being able to get a really wide wash on the dance floor. I do a lot of spotlighting and stuff when uh, bride and grooms come into a room and then I try to spotlight them on the dance floor, but often I'm too close and the moving heads that I have, if I don't use a prism, I can't get remotely close enough to the width that I need in order to do that. Um, with these, these actually will zoom from 55 degrees to eight degrees. So we have a zoom spot, it's pretty darn awesome. And I'm going to just um, hit that zoom real quick for you just so you can see how this mechanism moves. And then we'll try to show you how it works on the wall. What do you think of that? I'm gonna show it to you on the opposite wall in just a moment. I also wanna let you know that this runs in 16 and 24 channel DMX. Um, the big difference is that in 24 channel, you can control your red, green, blue, white LEDs from this one to this outside ring to this ring. So one, two, three. So one, two, three. You can control them independently, so you can actually kind of make it chase this way if you wanted to. And I think I can show you that as well. Give me one second. And I just quickly went into my DMX controller and programmed this pattern right here. So we're going from green to one to two to three, to blue one, two to three, to blue two to blue one, to one and three, to two to one, to two, to three. And with 24 channels of DMX, you can program it like this, which is cool. All right, so you have some flexibility. And then when you go back to the 16 channel, it's basically red, green, blue, white, all one color, all one light. So basically this would all be green instead of being able to do it like this, which is super cool. All right, so let me do a little quick shot for you on the test on long distance. And so you can see the beam in the wash. Ooh, I can't see anything, but I am now approximately 17, 18 feet away from this light, straight away, full on white. Now, this is about to go back to its full capacity here of 55 degrees. And check this out, little DMX program. Oh, don't look at it though. Ready? Here we go. Look at that. Awesome. Love this. This light's gonna come in so handy. Whew. Now I gotta tell you, I was just, um, I just did full on 
What we just did the example for, for the beam angle, was the three sets of white lights, all the white lights completely on 100%. And then I just did a test when nobody was looking um, with all the lights full on. And I can tell you from about three, four feet, you can feel the heat off the front of this thing. So these fans will be doing their work if you ever go full blast on these, but your guests will be blinded because they're bright. They're very bright. Um, so right now, while you're watching the wall, I'm going to hit the strobe so you can check out the strobe. And that is full strobe um, with and without the focus, the zoom. Oh, I had one red LED on there. I didn't know that. But I'm going to switch that now to a different color. So what do you think about that so far? All right, so pretty much I got a DMX, but um, I'm gonna show you them side by side and I'll just throw it in some auto modes and we'll see what it does like that. I don't have a lot of space in here, so I just have them sitting here against the uh, wall right now, but you'll get an idea of what they can do, okay? All right, so right now we have these lights going in slow auto mode. Um, I haven't found a way to actually master slave them, so I don't know that it exists in there. Um, so that, you know, to each their own, um, but they are on auto right now and auto slow. And this is kind of what you get. These are, like I said, they're super bright. So uh, I can't look at them, um, but they're cool. I'm going to show you the menu. They have a slow mode, they have a fast mode and they have a sound mode. I'm going to switch these into fast. This is the fast mode. Pretty fast, pretty fast. Um, which will obviously come in more handy if you could actually hang them. Um, but the way we use them on a totem, they're going to be hitting the ceiling a lot, all right? And they're not going to be pointing down too much. And they will strobe, all right? Whew. Oh. All right, so now it's in sound. So these are in sound mode. Now I'm going to adjust one to see how the mic sensitivity is on one. Whew. Okay, going down to one definitely makes this one more sensitive. Okay, I'll try 250. Yeah, okay. So the mic sensitivity does work. You do have a range of uh, zero to 255, just like DMX. And um, the 250, I'm um, rather 250 and 250 did make a difference. And um, you'd have to dial that in if you're into that kind of thing. I am not, but, and the strobe light is probably gonna give me a seizure. Whoo, all right, next thing. The menu, as you can see, is pretty cool. Um, it's pretty easy to navigate. The up and down arrows actually take you through everything. And there are only, um, there are only six items here. Uh, once you get into the menu, you can reverse it. You can reverse your pan and tilt. Um, you can change your mic sensitivity from zero to 250. And no signal mode. So I guess if you're in DMX, you could click that and it'll go into the auto programs. Then you have your reset, the default and the factory set. I'm not exactly sure what the difference between the factory reset must take out your uh, DMX address and everything is my guess. I'm not sure what default is and the reset just kind of reboots it um, power wise. All right. Mm -mm -mm. 
up and down arrows. That's all you need. So you have your address, which I actually put this in my DMX controller, as you already saw. So I'm probably going to run this first. So you probably didn't see that yet. Shh, secret. All right. Your display, that's just for flipping it upside down. English or Chinese. Don't know why that is. I'm just kidding. Um, you have your modes. So you have your DMX, your fast, your auto, your slow, and your sound. Easy to get to. And then you have your, uh, how many channels you want? 16 or 24. And I just noticed what is cool is while you're going through this, it actually tells you what your address is right here. So it already says DMX512053. Um, so that is pretty cool. And am I missing anything else about this light? You have this very cool big light. You have these really nice mounting brackets, which are quick lock, which is, I'm not even sure if that's the actual name, but you pretty much put them in and turn it. But each light has two of them. I mean, this light is only, it's only like 17 and a half pounds, but they have two. This is super heavy duty. Each one comes with a DMX cable. And also they have your good, um, like power con power cable so they lock in and i was going to show you one but they're like already plugged in so i'm not going to show you that and then if you flip the light over so gently now you do have two nice carrying handles nice and easy right here on each side your fan is nice and big right at the here's the back of the unit you do have your big fan right here with your sheds logo which is upside down right now um, then you have your dmx in out and then your power in power out to jump it will fuse and you're on off. And then I just wanted to show you the bottom of the unit. And the bottom of the unit, as I said, has these nice locks for mounting on the bottom. So if you do want to hang these, you will have a super safe. There's actually a safety latch here there's a safety hole here for um, cable and then you have these with both the fix in here quick and easy push and lock push and turn and lock then you'll have two for pole mounting it's awesome then you have your manual and your manual doesn't have a whole lot going on it basically tells you not to get them wet and power some power information the LEDs are supposed to last more than 60,000 hours and you have a 15 degree lens beam angle, but you have your focusing angle but 8 to 55. And I showed you that, and that's pretty awesome. And there is your DMX setups if you want to do them. Um, and another cool thing is that you can access the auto programs from DMX. So you can go into your jump gradient pulse presets like that. But these things are awesome. I like them. I'm going to set this back up and uh, close it out. So guys, thanks again for checking out this video. Let me know what you think of the Sheds 19 by 15 watt moving heads. I love these things. They're pretty awesome. Um, there's something I'm forgetting to tell you guys. You want to know how much they cost? You can get these, click the link below if you're interested in these. You can get them for $2.99 a piece. $2.99 a piece for large, powerful, moving head units. They're awesome, guys. Keep rocking it out there, guys. Have a great holiday. Have a great Thanksgiving. Thanks again for checking out this video. My name's Chris. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. And please subscribe to the channel. $2.99. These are amazing. Um, I love them, especially if you got that dance floor close and you want to spotlight somebody, man, because you can take that uh, really very small angle and poof, 8 to 55 degrees uh, using DMX, and uh, you're going to get a lot of use out of these lights. And I just want to say thanks for sending me the hat. See you.